Hi, this is Ruben Chattis from Ceratech and welcome to our Tips and Tricks tutorial series. Thank you for watching this video on creating laminate composites. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe for more helpful tutorials. If you have any suggestions or specific requests for tutorials on topics that you'd like us to create, please add them in the comments below. Additionally, if you have any questions about anything covered in this video, please be sure to ask your questions in the comments below. If you'd like to see other tutorials like this, please check out our other videos here on our YouTube channel. We also offer our online customer enablement series held on the first and third Thursday of each month. This is a free 30 minute live video tutorial series where our software experts will share tips, techniques, and knowledge that will sh help sharpen your skills. To sign up for this series, please contact us at info at In this video, we will be covering how to create laminate composites. For background, a laminate is when two or more sheets or layers of a material are joined together to form one single material, and a layup determines how the materials are stacked and how many plies are used. A layup basically outlines the laminate process. So as you can see here, we already have geometry and it's been meshed for us, and this is a cylinder. So we're going to think about this cylinder as a rocket body tube. And since we know that rockets can potentially fail under their flights, sometimes it's good to reinforce the, the body tubes with laminates in order to make them strong enough to prevent this failure. So the first thing we're going to look at is the 2D mesh. We're going to right click it. We're going to click edit mesh, asso mesh associated data. We're going to change the material orientation method to MCID. We're going to change the MCID definition to inherited from layup, and then we're going to click OK. So once that's done, we're going to start creating our laminate. So the first thing we want to do is click on laminates on the top tab, but if you don't see it here, you're going to want to right click and scroll down to laminates and select it, and then it'll pop up. So then we're going to go to laminate physical properties. We're going to change our name to reinforcement layup. We're going to change the stacking recipe from regular to inherited from layup, and then the rest can say the same, so we're going to apply and click OK. From there, we're going to go to our 2D collectors, we're going to go to thin shell 1, we're going to right click it, we're going to edit, and we want to change the type from P shell to laminate, and then click OK. So once that's done, we're going to want to actually start creating our global layup. So we're going to click right here where it says global layup, we're going to change our name to body to the layup. And then we're going to change the stacking recipe from regular to symmetric. We're going to want to click this button twice to create two plies. And then we're going to want to select them both at the same time. We're going to want to give them a material. We're going to scroll down. We'll use epoxy for ours. Click OK. And then for our thickness, we'll change it to 0 0.15 millimeters. The only thing that's going to vary between these two is the angle. So for the angle, we'll change this one to 45 degrees and leave the other one at zero. It's, this is typical to have zero, then 45, then 90, and so on. From here, we want to select Define Draping Input, which is going to further define our orientation. Our solver, we want it to be woven. We want to select our single polygon face. For our start point, we want to select all the way at the bottom. Let's line it up. One second, there we go. For our primary aligner, we want to select the Z axis. We want it to go up. Click OK. And then click OK once again. Once that's done, we're going to want to go to our left hand side under layups. We're going to scroll down to body tube layup. And we see that it says update pending for these two plies. We're going to want to right click on body tube layup and hit update. This might take a while, so we'll be back once this is done. So we can now look at the left hand side and it says up to date so we know we're good to go. And when we're looking at our new mesh, we want it to be blue all around. So we take ours and we start looking around and it looks all blue so we know that we're good. In a case that it's not blue, it'd be red or a purple color and we know that we'd have to change it, go in and fix it. But for us, it looks good to go, so we are good. That's going to do it for us today on creating laminate composites on Sim Center. Thanks for watching our tips and tricks tutorial series. This is Ruben Chattis, Engineering Internet Search Tech. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and please don't forget to post any of your questions down in the comments below. Also, don't forget to check out our other support videos here on our YouTube channel, and tune into our customer enablement series every first and third Thursday of the month. Thank you very much, and we'll see you next time. Thanks for checking out our channel. If you like what you saw, make sure to like and subscribe down below so you don't miss out on any new videos. Follow us on LinkedIn, Facebook, and Twitter for the latest engineering news and information. And to see all of our upcoming events, please visit our website at saratech.com events.